This is the Tumblr Autobot. It can create Tumblr accounts, scrape posts and people, like or unlike posts, reblog posts, and follow or unfollow people. The first thing we're going to do is open up the scraper that comes with it. We're going to scrape some posts and some people so that we can like the post, unlike the post, and follow and unfollow the people. Just to show you some examples. Alright. So first thing we're going to do is scrape some posts. I'm only going to keep it at two pages and two tags just for the sake of time. And we're going to save this as scraped posts.txt and leave the speed on medium. What this is going to do is it's going to go to Tumblr, it's going to search for LOL, and then it's going to scrape two pages. Um, it's going to scrape two pages of blog posts in this case. So when it's all said and done, we'll have a total of 40 posts between the two tags that will be scraped. Alright, scrape the tags for LOL and it saved them. And if you put in like 100 tags here, I want to stop at 20, that's fine. Once it's done with each tag, it then saves uh, the data off. Alright, so it now scraped and saved 40 posts as you can see. Uh, the run button is available, so the bot is done now. I'm going to change this to people, uh, add a tag funny, and I'm only going to do one tag this time. And very important that you change the file name, or it's going to save over, or it's going to save over your uh, your other file. So this time it's going to scrape for the the actual bloggers instead of the, the blog post. And there might be duplicates, so you might try to scrape two pages and it might only show up as 18 people or something. Alright, so there you go, 19 people. So we got some duplicates, and if you want to look at uh, let's scrape people real quick. See, so we have 19 there in the post, and we have 40 there. So, we can now close out of this program and use all that data in the Tumblr Autobot. But first, uh, we can go to the account creator and create some accounts. Uh, I'm going to do one, but you can do as many as you want. And I'm going to save this as accounts.csv. Actually, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just going to do one for now. Um, and hit run. Each section has instructions. So if you're confused about anything, it'll sort of explain uh, how everything works. And it, it does have auto captcha, which I'll turn it on right now so you can see. So it's going to come to the Tumblr registration page, and it's going to automatically register an account. And if you say 10 accounts, then it's automatically going to log out, and it's going to go back and do that again. So right now, the captcha is being sent to Death by Captcha. There are two other services as well. Uh, I'll list them below the video. So it automatically solves the CAPTCHA and registers the account. It's going to log in, wait a few seconds, and then log out. Alright, and if you set, you know, five accounts, then it'll just do it all over again. But uh, I tried to make a video like that before this, and 
it ended up being a really, really long video. So uh, for the purposes of time, I'm going to just cut it down. So let's look at this. And there you go. There's the account. So I already created some accounts earlier. And I'll just use this file so you guys can see how everything else works. So I'm going to go over to the account manager. And I can clear the cookies. Uh, and I'm going to open up that other file with more accounts in it. And you can do manual login, which will just take you to this page, basically, if you're on another page. Uh, and type in uh, your email and password if you want to do it that way. Or you can load a file, and you can hit log in or switch accounts. So I'll show you how this works. So I'm going to hit log in. And it's, go to that, it's going to go to that first account on file here. And this account already has, you know, liked some posts, followed some people, and even has some followers. And uh, I've reblogged some stuff as well on it. So, so this will be a good, uh, a good one to show you how to follow. Or I'm sorry. How to how this works when you scrape, uh, unlike, and unfollow. So there are 42 posts that it's liked. If I want to unlike 12 posts. What I can do is, I can I can scrape them first, and then uh, save them off as a uh, post to unlike that txt. And what this is going to do, it's going to scrape the likes that I currently have, uh, and it's going to save them off. All right, as you can see, it's done. And post to unlike that txt has twelve uh, posts in it. So I can do the same thing with people. So let's do like thirty people. Oopsie, thirty people to unfollow. Make sure you change the uh, the file name again. People to unfollow that txt. Oop. Is that right? I don't know if I put a T there. All right. Okay. Yeah, I did. It just the program cuts it off. So hit run, and it's gonna scrape your followers now, or the people who you're following, and then it's gonna save them off, and it'll save thirty, the first thirty. So it's done. So people to unfollow, and we have 30 uh, people there. So now what I can do is go to the like or unlike, and we can unlike some of those posts. So let's load the URLs and hit run. And I'm just going to let it do a couple here. Um, So you get the idea. So go back to the dashboard. And we now have 39 liked posts, whereas we had 42 before. So uh, you can see how that works. Same with the follow. Uh, we're following 65 blogs. And we can load that uh, unfile, people to unfollow.txt file and hit run. And we'll unfollow a couple people.
So that has uh, unfollowed three people. So now we should have we should be following sixty two people. So right. So now we're following sixty two blogs. So what I can do now is I can load that follow um, that scraped people file that we scraped earlier. If I wanted to use that and uh, follow people now. So that'll change to unfollow. So we were originally following 65 blogs, and we unfollowed three, so that's 62. So now we'll follow two, just to show you an example, and we'll end up with 64. All right, so we're now following 64 blogs. With the liked post, we unliked three, so we, we had 42 originally. Now we have 39. So now let's go like some posts from the ones that we scraped earlier. And if I scrape some posts that I uh, previously liked before, uh, it will just skip those. It'll go to the page still and wait a few seconds to look natural, but it won't count it as a like. So I think we had 39. Uh, like to post, so we'll like two posts here, just an example. Again, I'm not letting these run out all the way because uh, it would take, it would be a long, long video. <laughs> this is already going to be a long enough video. So we now have 41 posts. So you can see how all, all that stuff works. So let's go to the account manager and let's log out. And we're now going to log in to the next one on the list. Whoopsie. So ramp part, whatever that is. See? All right. So I think I showed you almost everything. Let's go to the reblogs. I'm going to load that URL of scrape or the scrape posts uh, dot txts for the URL file. I'm going to change the caption and the photo URL. Whoopsie. Change. There we go. It's being stubborn. <laughs> the caption is uh, HTML, and the reason I did that is so you can put links in. So I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to make this go to tumblr.com. And the photo URL you can spin. So it will either choose Google or Yahoo in this case. So it's going to take the scrape post that we scraped before, before, it's going to reblog the post. It's going to change underneath to the caption so you can put whatever you want, like this is a link. So you can, uh, It's also going to change the photo URL if that's available, which on that one it wasn't available. So it's not going to go to the next one. I'll wait till we get a photo URL here. So it's going to change the caption under the video or under the picture. And there you go. Change it to yahoo.com. So when people click on that picture, when you reblog it, and people click on that picture, it'll take them to yahoo.com in this case. Uh, you can obviously make that whatever you want. You can put one URL in there or you can put 100 URLs in there if you want and spin them. And it'll choose anyone. Uh, it'll choose one at random. 